Um, I felt good right from the start. Um, I've had the best preparation I could have for the week. Um, I find it easy as well when uh, you go out there and you have a whole team behind you. It uh, makes it a little bit easier when they're pumping you up after every point. Um, it's what I came out here to do, and it's uh, I wanted to take full advantage of the opportunity I'm given uh, with my mental and, uh, and physical energy out there. So I was happy with the way I was playing and uh, happy that I had a win. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were uh, had the whole family up past midnight watching a live score, so I bet they're pumped for me. Uh, can't wait to go back and call them and wake them up at 3 a.m. Well, uh, all I know is that he's proud of me and wants me to do uh, do well, go out there and do my best. That's all he said to me before I went out there, so that was all I was thinking about, really. Just doing everybody proud and uh, doing my best. Uh, yeah, it's a little nervous before you go out there, uh, but... Um, you know, it's it, as soon as I got out there, the, the nerves were gone. You know, like I already said, it's just easy when I have people there giving me, you know, confidence after every point. I think we're going to have a team discussion when we get back. I'm, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but um, we've named Carsten and uh, Paul. Uh, I think we've got both. They're both good teams. I think I think Leighton and Carsten be good too. But uh, Paul's playing so well, he'd, uh, he'll be playing. I thought his rhythm was terrific, you know, he didn't, sometimes he overrushes a little bit, you know, he gets a bit, uh, you know, a bit rushed and grabs the balls and because he serves so, he serves so well, he, you know, he, he just throws it up and whacks it sometimes, but, you know, I thought today he was really composed and he took his time and um, thought about where he was going to go and, you know, lost his serve a couple of times early in the second, but that kept all his, um, um, you know, his thought processes in check and, uh, I thought his performance was very, very good. Oh, absolutely, yeah. No, I'm, I'm proud of him. He's, um, yeah, look, I've known him since he was a toddler. You know, I've known him since he was born, just after he was born, and um, he's, uh, he's grown a bit since then. But he's, he's uh, I, you know, I think situations like this can really sort of untap the potential, you know? It, it, he, or, it, sorry, to... to to unleash the potential, he, he's still untapped. And, um, you know, when you play under this pressure, this is different, I, he handled it well, you know, and um, look, I saw him play Andy Roddick in this court in January and uh, he, he shook Andy up a bit. You know, he had a set point in the first set and he doesn't quite know how good he is yet. And um, he's got to believe in himself. Um, he's a late maturer, um, but that's not easy to do. He, he was probably expected to win and yet uh, you've still got to deal with the pressure the first time for a live match in singles. And yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of him. Not as proud as Sid probably, but fairly proud of him.